Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server on your Windows machine. So let's start the video. You can open any of your favorite browser and just type SQL Server. And here you can see it is showing the official website that is Microsoft.com. You can just click on this SQL Server download link. And now it has redirected me to SQL Server download page. And here we are having different downloads available. Just scroll below. And here you can see we have uh, free special edition downloads available. Developer as well as Express. So we will be installing Express uh, which is again a free edition. So just click on this download button. Okay, here you can see it has downloaded my exe file. So now this download is done. Let's install this. So just click on this exe file. Let me minimize my browser. And here you can see it is showing me SQL Server 2000 Express Edition. And it is showing me select the installation type. Three type it is showing me basic custom and download media. I am going to select basic. Okay. So just select this basic. Okay. On this page we have to accept the license and agreement. So just click on this accept button. And now it has taken me to this page. It is showing the installation location of SQL Server. So it will go in C colon program files Microsoft SQL Server. If you wish to change, you can click on this browse button and just change. Okay, so now I don't want to change. I am keeping default. So I will be clicking on this install button. It is downloading installation packages. After downloading packages, it will install it. So we have to wait for a while. Okay, so you can see it is showing me download successful. So now it will start installing it. So we have to again wait for a while. Okay, so guys, you can see my installation is also completed. It is showing me it has completed successfully. And here it is showing me different information. So first information is connection string. So it is showing me instance name and its connection string. Second is what log file. So whenever you create database, a log file is created. So this is showing me the folder of log file. And next we have installation media folder. And lastly, we have installation resources folder so these are the folders location which has been shown over here now to verify the installation you can just click on this connect now button and if you see something like this that mean your installation is successful okay okay now I am going to minimize this so now I will be installing SSMS that is SQL server management studio so that is a studio means a, a tool using that you can write a query you can connect to your database you can create a database everything you can do at one place so for that you need to click on this install ssms button so it is going to open on your browser so now you can see it has taken me to again microsoft website download sql server management studio and here you can see it is showing me free download SSMS 19. So let's download SSMS 19. So for that I have to click on this link download SSMS 19. Okay my download is started now we have to wait for it. Fine guys my download is done now I will be clicking on this to start my installation. I'll just minimize this and here it's showing me SQL Server Management Studio. So I need to just click on this install button. Okay, so it will install in again a C colon program files. If you want to change, you can change it. So I don't want to change. I'm just clicking on install button. Okay, here it's showing me progress of my installation. So again, it will take time. So we have to wait. Okay, so guys, you can see it's showing me my setup is completed. So my Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio that is SSMS is installed on my PC. So now let's start this. 
ओके सो लेट मी क्लोज एवरी थिंग आई एल क्लोज इज एस क्यू एल सी एम डी एज वेल एज दैट इंस्टॉलेशन पार्ट नाउ इन सर्च यू कैन टाइप एस क्यू एल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो और यू कैन टाइप एस एस एम एस बोथ विल वर्क सो नाउ आई हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड माई एस क्यू एल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो and now here my studio has been started and here it's showing me various details showing me server type so i am going to select database engine server name so this is a name has been given while installation and authentication type i am taking as windows authentication and now we have to just click on this connect button here you can see it's showing me green color that mean it has been connected to your server and now here it's showing me several folders available here you can see it's showing me database folder so just expand this here it's showing me system database as well as database snapshot so i will be showing you database through wizard as well as through query also so these are my already available database master model ms db tmdb so if you want to try you can try with tmdb also i am creating my own database so just right click on databases and select new database and here you need to provide your database name okay so guys here i am going to provide my database name as demo db and you can see below the corresponding log file for the database has been created and now we need to just simply click on this okay button and guys you can see under this databases it's showing me my newly created database that is demo db and you can see here we have various folders so here is a table folder you using this you can create tables also so there are two ways to create table you can right click and create the way i have created database or you can write queries also so now i am not going to right click and create table i will be showing you through query so that you know both the ways so now just uh, let me select this uh, table and here i am going to click on new query option at the top you can see there is new query option and now guys it has opened me the query wizard and now here i can type any queries whatever i wish to execute so here i will be typing uh, first query as create table so create table so let me increase the size i'm just making it 200 so create table student i'm giving only two column the first column i'm going to give as uh, roll number and the second column i'm going to give as name you can take a other column also so roll number which is of type integer you can provide primary key two i'm not providing and name i'm taking as var cat 20 and then close the parenthesis put semicolon guys and this uh, create table command done but before that let me write use and my database name so that this table uh, get created under my database only so here i will write use and then i will write demo db and put semicolon okay so both commands are done i'm going to select this and i'm going to hit on execute button okay guys so i'm getting my output commands completed successfully now let's refresh this and here i'm uh, getting my table that is student table and guys you can see it's showing me my columns also roll number and name so you can type other queries also let me just type insert and select query so insert into student one comma i'm giving cs corner in single quote and semicolon and done guys now let me execute this so again select this command and click on execute button so it's showing me one row affected that mean my row has been inserted now what i'll do i'll write um, what select command so select star from student and boom guys you can see your all the data of your table it's showing over here so that's done guys you can save this query so that you can retrieve it later also if you want to execute again so just you need to uh, cross this query and it will ask you file name and the extension will be dot sql so your query will be saved 
सो गाइज आई होप बाय फॉलोइंग माई वीडियो यू आर एबल टू सक्सेसफुली इंस्टॉल एस क्यू एल सर्वर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ऑन योर पी सी एंड गाइज आई होप यू एंजॉयड माई वॉचिंग माई वीडियो इफ येस देन डोंट फर्गेट टू हिट ऑन लाइक बटन एंड इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ क्वेरी यू कैन पुट इन कमेंट बॉक्स आई विल श्योरली रिप्लाई टू योर क्वेरीज एंड गाइज आई हैव माई टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑल्सो आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स यू कैन जस्ट ज्वाइन दैट आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग लॉट्स ऑफ पी डी एफ एंड रिसोर्सेज फ्री ओवर देयर and guys the very important if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel to support me and my channel thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care